Capricorn, hi. Welcome back to Athena One Muse. That's Zeus. He watches me do readings. So cute. The other one's down on the ground. I have two little doggies. Okay, Capricorn, we're doing three card love reading for you with clarifiers. And then I'll do another one, another spread, and see if it's, it's becoming a continuation. So we'll see how this one goes. All right, so you are working. You're focused on your work. You're focused on your money. You're focused on making a relation. This is about love. You're focused on making a relationship work and your money. Right? That's, that's, there's a fine line there. Right? Okay. Wow. We did get a lot of cards. Okay. So, let's begin. We have you waiting. Waiting to work on a love that you've known in the past. So someone from your past could be coming back, right? And you want to work you want to work on this. You're determined. So you're waiting for this love to come back. Okay? Waiting. Waiting for your ship. Sorry for the glare. I have some candles going. See? Okay. So you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for this past relationship to come in. Because maybe now you're ready to really, you know, get this get this right. That's what I that's what I hear. Get it right. Get, make it right. Try to make it right. And by doing so, the wheel, this is a karmic relationship, however. So karmic relationships sometimes do need to end in order for good things to happen. Let me see something. Yeah, you want you want the big money and the big love, which we all do, and there is someone who could be the one that we're talking about from the past coming right at you, the Empress. The Empress is an independent, uh, could be a healer, could be someone who you've known definitely known this lifetime but from the past but also from another lifetime in the past is what i'm hearing okay because it's karmic so maybe the karma is over and you're getting to start new because the wheel's here let's see what the story says let's let's clarify some cards let's look at what we're waiting for the seven of coins okay so we have this empress who did walk away could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, Capricorn? So someone walked away and now you're waiting. You're waiting for moving to move forward. You want to move forward. Okay, I need another card on this. Another couple cards. Thank you. Okay. So you're waiting. This is you. This is the Capricorn card. This is you waiting. You know. Saving the best for last. That's what I hear. You're saving the best for last. And we have the high priestess. So this could be the person we're talking about who is, and or you are Capricorn, very intuitive, just knowing that waiting is waiting in the wings. Waiting in the wings. And you have a fire sign too here. Or this could be the passion, or you could be a Capricorn with a Leo moon or rising. You could be sun Capricorn and, and moon rising in a fire sign. Or this could be another person. Or this could be this person. Someone who's also a mom. The Empress is usually a mom. Okay, so let's see what's going on. We've got... Someone walked away, looked like it was an air sign. 
from Capricorn using your intuition or they use their intuition. Maybe that's why they walked about this. Maybe this was a third party situation. Let's see. Why is this King of Wands? Yes. Someone was going to be judged for something they did. So they dodged a bullet. Someone dodged a bullet. And in the middle of the night, well, it's not the night in this card, but took whatever took whatever lessons they learned, hopefully they did learn, or you did, dodged a bullet and judgment was served because you lost out on the third party. Okay, what else? Yes, and now you are able to, to be the knight who's offering their love and the sun is shining. So you're offering your love to someone and your hope and this this offering of love is the empress. Right? And it could be a Leo because the sun is Leo, the Leo card. But I'm not really sure about that, so I'm really not going to go there with it. Let's not do that. Venus is the Empress, so that would be a Libra. Maybe a Libra with a Leo sun. Maybe a Libra, um, because it's the, um, it's a cor or it's a major card. So maybe this could be a Libra with a Leo, um, with a fire Leo Sag or Aries moon or rising sign. Okay, so the bottom line is this. You want to work on this relationship and you're waiting. That's the bottom line. All right, Capricorn. Now, let's put these back. We'll shuffle them again, of course. Okay. Now, most of the second readings have been basic continuations of the reading. So we'll see. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for love. Show me. Show me. Three cards, and we'll let's see what other... Yes, it is. A, it is. It's a continuation. Yep. Okay. So you have been praying for this to, to come to fruition. You're on your knees and you're, you're praying hard every day, Capricorn, because you want it bad. The wheel's turning. And there she is, she or he, no gender specific, right? Majorly passionate, majorly passionate relationship. This relationship is karmic, but it also could have started, started out as a sexually based only relationship. And maybe that's all it's gonna be. I'm not sure, so let's clarify. Is this relationship, no, it's, I'm so sorry. Okay. The faith and the wheel turning, what does that mean? Is Does it mean that it's going to get to a higher level of love? Tell me. Will this relationship get to a higher level of love? Okay, see, look. So someone walked. Someone left a relationship and it was not, um, it wasn't balanced. And so someone had to go. And when that happened, it was devastating because, look at this, 
two knight, two knight of wands and a page. So this relationship is on fire. This relationship is on fire. Capricorn. The relationship is clearly passionate off the charts. And here you are, and you, it may take a long time, but you're going to wait. You're changing your perspective about how you feel. Why is Capricorn changing their perspective? Yep. One more. Just if I could. One more. You're finding the strength to change your perspective. Why? Because this is a love that's much deeper than just passion. I was waiting for this card to come out because you don't get on your hands and knees for, any, for no reason. You don't want this. You have to pray for this love. You have to be strong and you have to work hard. Yes, just like the other reading went. You have to. It, anything that's worth having is worth fighting for. That's what I'm hearing. And that's what you're going to do. Okay, is there anything else for Capricorn? Yes. So you're waiting to take the new direction. Maybe travel. This person might be at a distance from you. Traveling to you and intuitively you've known it all along that this person was the one. I'm feeling that this other person had no idea that you're really serious about this. That's what I think. That's beautiful, Capricorn. Okay, so great reading. I will be doing random love readings. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Okay, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, bye.